And the other word is phileo. This is where we get like Philadelphia is a city of brotherly love. It's kind of a, a brotherly love. It is. It's based on affections and feelings. Okay? And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not the love of God that we are talking about, that Christianity is based upon. In, in the Old Testament, it's interesting because there are three words that, I, that are used as love. And one is ohab. And that's kind of like phileo in the New Testament. Ohab. Ohab. Oh, 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 yes. Okay. And there's another, dode. Don't worry about the pronunciation. And that's like phileo. But it's deeper and, and applied typically to somebody who's close to you. Okay. okay? And there's another word, chesed. Okay. But that's really more about mercy and kindness than it is about what we consider love. Okay. You see, the love that we have is not the world's. And it's not dependent on a feeling. It's first and foremost a choice. The love that we, the bond servants, have is not our own, but God's. Okay? It's not a human love. It has to go, it has to transcend human love in order for you to have the power to love those who are unlovable, basically. Right? But Paul wrote in Romans, I'm going to read Romans 5.5. 5. And he says, and hope does not disappoint, because the love of God has been poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit who was given to us. In other words, God, through the Holy Spirit, has poured His love into you. You have His love. You're not dependent on your human love. That love obviously comes from the Holy Spirit, because Paul wrote to the Galatians in Galatians 5.22, and says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. That's the first one in that list of the fruit of the Holy Absolutely. Spirit, right? Absolutely. So you have, you have more than human love in you. You have the love that God Almighty has. It's been poured into you. Now that affects what I want to call the radius of love. Like that term? Coin. <laughs> Coined a new term, huh? Well... Because you know what a radius is? It's about how far out something reaches, right? Most people, well, times are changing. But at least in my day, I mean, you, you know, you're born into this world. You love your mother and your father. You love those who are close to you. And, and Jesus said, you know, even in the world, they love those who love them, right? And, and most marriages today, as they become fewer and fewer, may be based on love. But that love is an emotion and a feeling because they're getting something back from it, right? In return. It's when you break that radius and your love starts to reach beyond those who are closest to you. When that love goes beyond the boundaries of those you like the most. When that love goes out and expands into the places where, like Jesus said, you have to Love your enemies. When your love starts to expand, that increases the radius of love. And after all, you know, I quoted a verse a minute ago. What was the radius of God's love? For God so loved the world. Who? Right. Isn't there a Bible verse that says, when you were still enemies, God loved yeah, us? Absolutely. He because first loved us. Listen, don't ever get the idea that God God doesn't hate sin. Absolutely, he does. And we're supposed to. It says that the fear of the Lord is to, for us to hate sin. Mm -hmm. Okay? And God is not tolerant of sin. He can't even look on it. But he died for the sinners. He died for me. I was a sinner. Yes. He died for you. Yeah. Trust me, you're a sinner. We are. Like I said, this Bible study is for the bond servants of Christ. We are the beloved we are the loved of God. Yes. But if he had to have liked us in order to have loved us, whoa. That's a different story. What hope would we have? <clears throat> so our love has to start to go beyond the boundaries of normal human love. Our love has to go beyond the boundaries of feelings. Our love has to start reaching out into the whole world. Love radiates outwards. God's love radiates outwards. The question is, how far in our lives is it reaching out? I was tired of vainly looking. I had 
That night you know they sure were dim And then the light shone Through the darkness The moment that I had turned to him He loves me Yesterday, today His love will always stay 